What's up guys? I am back with another product review, this time with Tintam Power Massager Pro. So Tintam reached out to me, they were kind enough to send me a product because I've never used one before. And here it is. Boom. So it came in a very nice box. Um, it's a lot bigger than I, I was expecting, but so what it looks like, um, here's what the box looks like. It has product intensity meter. So yellow meaning the least, red the most, and it's the second product that they have that's the most. So that's pretty cool. They also have this graph kind of explaining what this Power Massager Pro is used for. And it's pretty interesting. Um, first off the back, let's do a little unboxing here. The first thing that I noticed whenever I unboxed it was the packaging was very, very nice. Um, all the attachments are in their specified places. Uh, the boxes that it came with are really cool. I'm gonna get into more of what comes with this product, but packaging, A1. So before I get into more on the product, I thought I'd go over what they market this product as and what it's advertised as. So it is advertised as a percussive therapy tool. Another percussive therapy tool that I've done a review on and I own is a Theragun G3 Pro. So I'm excited to see how that is compared to what the Theragun is and just to see how the word percussive, what it means to each company. Intam advertises that their battery life for this product is one hour, which is amazing. Uh, the weight on it is apparently two pounds, so it's not it's not heavy at all. I haven't even picked it up yet, so I couldn't tell you. It is marketed that it is very quiet, so that'll be another exciting thing to compare in my own head from how quiet this is. Owning the Hypervolt and Theragun, I'm kind of expecting like a middle ground of what this product is and loudness to quietness. The Power Massager Pro also states that it has a 175 degree arm, which I can tell because it has the same design almost as their gun with a handle and then the arm that attaches. So that's pretty cool. Tam actually has this tip that is automatically heated up whenever you turn it on and use it. So that's pretty cool and I'm excited to see how that affects the whole. So getting into the product, this is, this is the Tintam Power Massager Pro. So if I turn it on, <laughs> gotta put the battery in first. <laughs> so it comes with a battery, one battery, not two. Slide that in and it's pretty cool. It has a digital screen on it showing battery life. So when you turn the actual product on, there's an on button on the handle right here and it changes also changes the speed so let's say i turn it on it starts out first level is 1000 second level is 2000 third level 2800 and then it shuts off very quickly and that was the, the highest level and as you can tell it is pretty quiet uh, i wanted to get into this attachment right here so it advertises it has a 175 degree arm. Let's see. Push it in. Okay. So it goes all the way here. So 175 degree, that's pretty accurate. And then take it all the way back here. That's a pretty cool feature because if you're doing this by yourself, then you can hit places on your back that you probably couldn't if it was just like this. The button's down here. There's a cycle button and a plus button. If I hit the cycle button, It says warm up and it's a very low intensity and I don't know if it's just a set program that this is the best way that they think to warm up. Okay, it speeds up. Okay. So this is still warm up. So programs for warm up and it starts slow and then it goes in hard, starts, goes back to slow, goes again hard. So I'm not sure if that's like efficient, but that's pretty cool. I like that feature. 
Uh, the next feature that they have is called recovery. And you can kind of tell, right, I'm not on this topic yet, but you can tell by the noise, it's not very loud at all. So recovery starts fast and then goes into slow. So that's the set recovery program that, that is installed into this. This is just neck. So the neck setting is pretty interesting. Um, it goes in and out, in and out, in and out, and that's apparently good for your neck. I'm, I'm not sure on that one. The next setting is lumbar. And this is the, probably the most intense setting that is programmed on here because you actually can't change the speed of these sets and settings. So this one is going at its max speed whenever you turn it on to 2,800. So now let's get into what actually comes with the product. So the product obviously comes with the Power Massager Pro. It comes with one single battery and a battery stand as well as a charger, wire charger for the battery stand. Um, I found this pretty interesting and Tintam decides to have a universal charger for anybody, for any outlet. So if it's a uh, EU outlet, if it's a British outlet, if it's literally, so it has this one and I'm not sure which one is which. So when it comes with one, two, three, four electrical outlets. So I found that really handy and that's a really awesome idea. And the typical United States outlet. So the tips that it comes with, it comes with three tips. This is the smallest tip. Uh, like I said, it just screws on. So it literally is just like a screw. You just screw it on, tighten it. Voila. Tip, as soon as you put this tip on, it's the automated heated infusion tip. So it gets up to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot. And I'm excited to try that out because I think that's a really cool idea. It's comparing it to the other one. It's actually the exact same size. Just this one heats up and this one doesn't. The last one is just a, it's called the polish light <laughs> attachment. It's massive. Um, and it seems like it would be a cooler effect on it because of the material that it's made. It's really hard, kind of a metal material. And I'm, I don't know yet, but I'm, I'm guessing that this attachment feels colder on your skin. So this might be more of a recovery attachment and compared to the heat infusion one. And this is probably for more of a warm up and getting your muscles heated. So I'm going to use this Power Massager Pro on my arm. Uh, I'm going to use each attachment just to kind of get the feeling of what it's like and I'm pretty excited to try out this heat infusion tip. So let's do it. So battery just kind of pops right in here. The first tip I'm going to use is just the typical ball and we're going to try those out. So this is the thousand speed very quiet. Apparently this is only 10 decibels. So, I mean, you can barely hear it. So I'm just going to use this on my arm real fast. So just a quick overview of what that felt like. That literally felt like someone tapping me. It wasn't much. Um, I would definitely say if you have very small muscle mass but have inflammation problems, that might be okay for you. But that was, for me, that was very, very light. So uh, let's uh, go up to the 2000. So 2000 was actually not bad. Um, that, that I, I could feel the, the uh, percussiveness of the tool, if that's even a word, <laughs> but I could definitely feel it. I've noticed is um, with, you with, have, with owning the Hypervolt and owning the, the Theragun, I could definitely push harder and apply more pressure on this tool than I could on the Hypervolt, 
But on the Theragun, I could definitely push harder and feel more of an effect. Let's do the last final speed. So the final speed is something that I'd probably, I'd probably uh, interchange between the second speed and the third speed. Um, if something was hurting, like say I did a lot of legs and lifted a lot and my hamstrings were very tight, I'd probably use the second speed. Third speed might hurt a little bit, but if I'm feeling good and I just need a quick warm up, third speed is what I do. The next tip is the heat infusion tip. And I'm pretty excited to try this because that idea is really cool. So let's let's give it a go. Something that you guys should know, um, to turn on the heat, I just realized this, to turn on the heat, you push this button right here and then hold down the plus button right here. That activates this little ball on, this, on the screen to turn on and that makes the ball or the attachment hot. So let's do it again. So, the ball is very, actually very warm and it feels pretty good. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit warmer, but I can see why it's not because it could burn, burn you, <laughs> but it is pretty warm and you can definitely tell a difference. So the final attachment is the so-called cooling tip that I'm calling it because it does feel cold. Um, I'm going to try this on each speed just to sh show you guys what it's like. First speed. Second speed. Third speed. I was kind of right. It does have a cooling effect a little bit. Um, it's not like super cold, but it's definitely colder than room temperature. Um, compared to the heat infusion tip, it's much colder, but obviously. And I actually do enjoy this. It feels really good on your, on your neck and it feels really good on your arms. Would definitely use this this attachment for more of a recovery aspect of it. And since I have one, I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like compared to the Theragun. So comparing to the Theragun, here's the Power Pro Massager. Here is the Theragun. Theragun's a little bit heavier and bigger. And I thought I'd show you guys the comparison of how loud this is compared to this one. So here's the Tin Tam. First speed, second speed, third speed. So I'm talking the same and it's really not that loud at all. For the Theragun, Theragun G3 Pro has two speeds. First speed, second speed. As you can tell, this is a lot louder. Not a lot louder, but definitely louder than this one. The two percussive tools, this, the Tin Tam Power Massager Pro and the G3 Pro from Theragun. I would say that this is definitely a more intense machine. Um, if you have more muscle mass, still would consider this, but this does do pack a pretty nice punch. I would just consider it more on the line of a G uh, of the G3 and not the G3 Pro. The heat intensity tip is really cool. I, I really like that idea. I would kind of wish it would come with more than just three attachments and not all ball shaped. That would be kind of cool. I like how the Theragun came with a, a lot more different style of attachments, but these attachments do seem very high quality and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's serious about training and has problems with, with inflammation or sore muscles. So that's my review guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, uh, like, subscribe. Thanks for the, all the support you guys are giving me. I really appreciate. Thank you Tin Tam for sending me a product and I will put this to use. Thank you very much. I hope you guys liked the video. See ya. So